All right, hi guys, it's Miss Rush. I'm going to read another story for you guys today. And it is one of my favorite books. It's really special because it talks about how you can be different than other people and that they can still love you and care about you. And that being different isn't a bad thing. It can sometimes be a really, really good thing to be different. This is Not Quite Narwhal by Jessie Seema. Jessie Seema wrote the words to this book. She's the author. Not Quite Narwhal. And if you thought, hmm, that doesn't look like a, nar a narwhal, you might be right. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His trunk was not as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food. He's looked going, Bleh. that does not look appetizing to me. He, I don't think he wants to have some squid. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. They're playing together in the ocean. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer. Here he goes through the current. Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he had ever been before. High up on the cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Is he way up there? You can see he's all dark because it's his silhouette. It's kind of like he can, the, the moon is shining behind him so you just see the dark part of him. His silhouette. Kelp swam towards the land as fast as he could which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. Anxious is another word that means nervous. He might have felt a little scared to be going on to land for the very first time. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creature made it look so easy. What kind of land creature is that? There's a crab on the shore. I don't know if he's going to be able to walk the same way as a crab. I wonder what animal he'll walk like. Hmm. Let's find out. Hmm. It wasn't easy. Trying to walk like a crab. He goes, oof. Trying to jump like a frog. Ow. Eventually, he got the hang of it. Oh, it was easier to walk like a turtle. Especially when you're learning something new. It might be easy to go slow, like turtles do. And then you can get faster. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. He began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, what do you think he's going to find when he gets out of the forest? Hmm. I wonder what it will be. I wonder if he'll find that one, that one creature that looked like him. Oh! Wow. Look at all of them. He says, land narwhals. And right here, this one says, Actually, we're unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. He found a lot of unicorns. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Shh. Wow! Shh. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies says unicones. I've had those before. When I've had them, they're called snow cones. 
They're very delicious. What a great treat to have. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun, he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. There he is waving goodbye. Come back soon. Oh look, even the crab is there saying goodbye. Goodbye. Bye Kelp. He, or Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. When someone has butterflies in their stomach, they don't really have butterflies in their stomach. It just means that their stomach is kind of going, it's like all nervous and it feels like there's something inside they're going, really fast, like a bunch of butterflies flat, flapping around. <gasps> and welcome home, Kelp! It looks like they're so excited to see him again. Kelp took a deep breath <sighs> and told his friends the news. It turns out, I'm not a narwhal. Of course you're not. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. He couldn't make a choice. He didn't know which one he wanted. But then he realized, hmm, maybe, hmm, just maybe. I wonder what his decision was. I wonder what he chose. Is he going to choose to be a land narwhal with the unicorns or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? What do you think? What do you think his choice is going to be? Hmm. Ah. He didn't have to choose. There they all are playing together. Ah, there's the unicorns. The narwhals are playing volleyball with the unicorns. Oh, and look at these guys roasting marshmallows on their horns. And the, there's kelp right in the middle of all of it. And I even noticed the turtle and the frog and the crab. What else do you notice them doing? Oh, such a fun book. And look, this last page right here. Who did Kelp run into this time? Not a narwhal, not a unicorn. It's a rhinoceros. He says, I'm a unicorn. Um, he has one horn, like a unicorn or a narwhal. But he's not quite a narwhal. Thank you guys. This is Not Quite Narwhal by Jesse Seema. And if you want to do some activities that, have to, that go along with this book, one of the grown-ups in your house that you love, can click on the link in the description below and there's some really fun things you can do about narwhals and unicorns and walking like different animals. Just like Kelp had to try to walk like different animals when he was learning how to walk. All right, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!